Hello and welcome to Gotham Sound TV. I am very excited to present to you Paul Johnson from Q5X. Paul, welcome to Gotham Sound TV. Great to be here. Great uh, to be here. It's great to have you. Um, so Paul is going to present to us uh, his quantum uh, wireless, the Q5X wireless. Um, and specifically, it's the QT5100 line, is that right? Yes, the QT5100 is a, uh, our most recent family of transmitters, they're analog transmitters, uh, totally remote control. But, and well, before we, before we get into this new line, you know, let's give people a sense of like, what you, you guys are not new players, this is not, a, uh, like, this is not your first No, not our first rodeo. rodeo. Yeah. <laughs> so um, briefly no, tell us. I bit. guess uh, Quantum, Quantum 5X was established about 15 years ago. And uh, we actually started our, our business in the sports area. Mm -hmm. uh, and actually right here in New York, our, our first contract we had was to develop what was then the smallest transmitter in the world to be used in baseball uh, for the New York Yankees. Wow. So we did that as a contract, uh, was very successful with it. it the, the original radio was, was quite primitive, a, a single channel radio. And then since then we've gone through multiple generations and now have a complete line of uh, totally remote control uh, transmitters that have been developed primarily around the sports industry. So we started with the um, with Major League Baseball. We then did a, a series of referee mics for the NHL, mm -hmm. and then player mics for the NBA, and have expanded to doing basically all the professional sports around the world. Um, amazingly, we do a lot of rugby, and which which is which is very very rugged, very tough, uh, a lot of impact. And so we developed a whole line of, of uh, products that are, are rugged, and uh, but beyond that are very, very safe. So they're small and thin and flexible. Uh, we have these, you can see they actually flex and bend. Mm -hmm. So if you hit them, you can pound them, pound them and uh, they, they won't be damaged. Uh -huh. But more importantly, scary, they, 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 <laughs> more, well, most importantly, they won't, they won't injure a player. Mm -hmm. So over the last number of years, we've expanded. Um, we've, we, as I say, we started in, started in sports. Uh, we, we expanded and did a, a major contract with Radio City Music Hall. Uh -huh. uh, again, a high impact situation. We, we took our transmitters, we embedded them in the, the heels of the tap shoes at Radio City. So uh -huh. if you go to the Christmas Spectacular and see the tap dancing, every one of the tap shoes has one of our transmitters buried in the, in the heel. And that's, a, that's a, uh, a very rugged application. We've been doing that for eight years now. And just speaking generally though, um, your stuff is not limited to sports. Um, it's, I've heard it and, it's, and it certainly has fidelity sufficient to be used in all uh, manners of broadcast and film production. Yeah, and that's, that's been the, our, our push lately. So uh, our, our most recent uh, I get conquests in terms of, of commercial success have been in, uh, in film and mm -hmm. TV production and in theater as well. Because those applications demand small transmitters, flexible transmitters as well. Small flexible, um, very safe in the case of uh, dancers, for instance, who might fall on it. Mm -hmm. uh, in a lot of TV, we do a lot of, uh, a lot of skating in TV, mm -hmm. uh, reality TV, where, where uh, figure skaters might be able to fall on a transmitter. Mm -hmm. But as well, waterproof. Um, we have uh, an aqua mic, which is totally submersible. Um, and we have done an awful lot of reality TV in the UK um, with, with our, our transmitter because they're jumping in and out of swimming pools. Uh, we also did the Olympics. We did uh, uh, rowing in the Olympics. And so we actually mic'd the buoys in, uh, in, uh, in the Olympics for rowing in the water. Oh, microphone. that's cool. Huh. That's, uh, very cool. Uh, and then something that I think is um, really unique, uh, we'll get to the receivers in a minute, but uh, unique for our industry uh, is uh, the way you can remote control uh, the transmitters. And so just to give people some background, um, you know, remote controlling transmitters is not new. Um, you know, there's, uh, there's dweedle tones, um, there's infrared, um, there is uh, radio uh, control, right. um, which you guys employ. What I think is really interesting about the radio control is that you can do it centrally from a sound cart in our typical applications. Yes. Or you guys have a, um, a proprietary handheld unit. Right, we have a, uh, a remote control unit um, which has been oh, developed. Uh, yeah, you can. Okay, go. sorry, there here we go. go. Yeah. Uh, it's been developed for uh, controlling all of these units. So every feature on, on the transmitter is controlled from here. Um, and you can see if I bring this one up. And if you just put it on the table, yeah, for focus. There we go. So it'll come up, you can turn it on, you can turn it off. 
you can mute it, you can set the, the mic gain, you can get the battery solemnity, see that's 100%. And then, uh, interestingly, if you scroll down here, go to this next screen, uh, from this as well, you can set the power level. This is now set to 50 milliwatts. It's adjustable between 10 and 100 milliwatts. Mm -hmm. And then you can set the companding mode. And one of the things we haven't talked about yet is the fact that these transmitters can be received on multiple receivers. So companding mode one is our proprietary uh, receiver mm -hmm. mode, companding mode. Uh, you can also do uh, a mode that will work with electrosonics receivers and with sure analog receivers. Um, and soon we'll have a Sennheiser. Uh, companding emulation. So the, the nice thing about it is if you have an application for these transmitters where you need to have uh, a very flexible and very safe and rugged transmitter or, or even just to get the remote control, right. um, you can then employ these with your existing receiver set and not have to buy receivers as well as transmitters. And I, th I think that's a great um, use if you have, um, you know, uh, if you're already vested in another brand's wireless receivers but you want the features that the Q5X transmitters will get you. Um, do you give anything up? Like, do you get battery telemetry and, and um, squelch we, we, on that? So we have battery telemetry uh, is delivered through the remote control. And so uh -huh. um, as, as you go back here, you can see this is set now. This battery is fully charged. It's a it's 100% 100, 100 uh, battery level. Uh, you don't, but you do not receive on someone else's receivers. You will not receive the telemetry on the receiver. On ours, you will. Got it. Understood. So you, um, if you do, if this is an interesting application for people, um, they can set these transmitters into a different compatibility mode to be compatible with their receivers. Their receivers will no longer give them battery life, but this handheld unit, and presumably and on we the haven't computer talked as about, well. you can hook it into a computer. Yeah. I think this is really exciting because uh, there's plenty of times where um, you know you want you can be close to an actor, but you don't want you don't, you can't be so close or so distracting um, if you have audible control, um, or sometimes you're just, the range from a sound card is too far, and this allows a sound utility, or even, um, I can imagine a boom, boom operator can carry this in between takes, can make yes. adjustments. And uh, as well, the, the transmitters yeah, can be great. grouped as well with a remote control. So in a situation where you're, you're doing, doing a film shoot and you have half a dozen microphones on a set, mm -hmm. you can group them as a, as a group and turn them all on and off at once as well. So there's an advantage to that. So you can set your cameras, do the, you know, shoot, a, shoot a take, put them all on standby, mm -hmm. reset the cameras, turn them all back on. And so if uh, coffee breaks uh, between, between takes, whatever, you can, you can turn the transmitters on and off very, very easily. So that, that's, that's quite an advantage. And while we're talking hardware, um, you brought a, a, a portable receiver. Yes. Um, and this is new. So just to let, make sure people know, uh, you have a rack receiver, um, which, it, which has how many audio mo modules? The, the, it's a, a dual rack mm -hmm. mount mm -hmm. receiver, um, which is a sort of a standard uh, full-featured uh, dual rack mount receiver. Uh, it is tunable between 470 and 700 megahertz, right. so quite, quite a broad spectrum. It will work anywhere in the world. So it will match any of our, of our transmitter frequencies. And this is a single-channel um, ENG. Um, so, again, a, a very, a very full-functioned ENG. Um, you can see from the menu here that you can go scroll through and readjust almost any setting very, very conveniently from this. Um, it's, but it's single channel, uh, tunable between 470 and 700 megahertz. Uh, fantastic. Uh, that's great. Uh, and there is com a computer control as well. Yes. And so the computer control works um, with uh, the with this unit with the um, sorry with yeah. the remote with the remote unit. Yes, and so you can see I've got two two remote units here, and all I've done really is plugged in this one. I've plugged in a um, a mini USB connector, which connects to the computer with the software, and it basically duplicates the function of of this remote control um, on a on a computer screen. Um, can we see Can we see what goes on on the computer? Sure, I'm going to just. Slide here. Yeah. Uh -huh. Computer went sleep. It's coming on. It's coming online. Uh. All right. Um, so I think the um, there we go. Here we go. All right. So here's uh, the computer. 
shows us all of the information in a, in a really concise graphic way. Yes, and you can see from, from here that um, this is the microphone that is, is turned on right now. I can turn it off. It's going to uh, turn off. Mm -hmm. uh, you can turn it back on. It gives me battery telemetry here. Uh, I can mute the microphone or make it live. Uh, then by going into, I can name the microphone here. This one is called belt mic, as you can see. Um, and it can, there's a security feature so that the, the, uh, compute, the uh, transmitter can be locked to the handheld or, or to the computer. So this means that only the devices that are have this share the same password Got can it. control the transmitter. So we're in a situation now that a lot of events will have two or three audio crews using the same using our gear, Absolutely. and we have to be confident that one crew is not going to actually interfere with the transmitters from another crew. Understood. So allowing them to be locked to the systems. Uh, terrific. All right. Um, and so by by the numbers, all of these transmitters um, are capable of of what what's their band split? Uh, they're all. Uh, we have three band splits. We have 470 mm -hmm. to 540, mm -hmm. 525 to 600, mm -hmm. and then 600 to 700, which we're using not in North America right. anymore, but, but in Europe we're using that and, and other, other places around the world. And I imagine um, based on the size, they have different RF output levels? The, the RF output level on them are all adjustable between 10 and 100 milliwatts. No matter which one you no have. No matter which one you have, and adjustable through the control system. And depending on the size, it depends on the battery life, though. Uh -huh. So as we look at these, um, this transmitter, which is one we actually use for our, our player mic for the NBA, I'll put it in my hand so you can actually see the size of it. It's, it's very, very small yeah. um, and very thin, which is which is great for film opportunities because and you can put this under a costume and it doesn't bulge. And flexible. And flexible. Yeah. So it's, it's very, very flexible that way. This one is good for uh, four hours at 50 milliwatts. This is another unit, and the only difference is the size of the battery. Mm -hmm. This is good for eight hours at 50 milliwatts. And talk to me about that connector. So this is a single pin Limo connector. Um, mm -hmm. We've ended up, we've used this uh, predominantly again, this was driven by our background in sports, and it's on, it's, it's on a, a, a tethered um, connector, a, a, like a, a pigtail. So it actually, it, it's a solid connection. Right. You put it in, you just pinch it and separate it like that. Uh, and you can see it's, it's coaxial. Uh, so we use it for two conductors for the microphone. Mm -hmm. uh, no risk of it becoming unthreaded, which has been always a concern uh, yes, with a threaded absolutely. connector. Yes. So the idea is that it's a very solid connection, easy, e very easy, um, and uh, we're driven by this basically by the diameter. So when we have a, a, a pack size that is very skinny, mm -hmm. we, we can't put a, a large diameter uh, connector on it and it becomes a safety. Issue. Got it. And the two antennas, uh, one is a transmit antenna, the other is uh, the, the telemetry antenna? Yes, the, the, small, the small one is the 2.4 gigahertz radio. So in fact, there's two radios in, in here. There's a, a 2.4 gigahertz transceiver, mm -hmm. which is for the remote control mm -hmm. system, and then the UHF radio. So the, and the UHF radio, obviously, is the antenna is dependent on the, uh, the frequency of the and the, two, the transmitter. 2.4 gigahertz protocol is meant for data. It's not, it's, it's very robust. Yeah, it, it's, it's, it's a very robust data. Uh, it, 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 actually, ours is, is uh, a form of Zigbee. It's mm -hmm. not the formal Zigbee or protocol. We, we've done some things to extend the range of, of, of the Zigbee, mm -hmm. um, but it is, is very robust. And in the application we have at Radio City Music Hall, for instance, we have 300 transmitters on the system, and the, the, our system will monitor all of them simultaneously and control all of them simultaneously. So it's it's very very robust from that perspective. Range is good. Um, in normal circumstances, in uh, in a room, uh, you would be able to get you know two or three hundred feet of range from the remote control. Mm -hmm. It is sensitive to the noise floor. Mm -hmm. So in, in an environment where you have a lot of cell phones, uh, the, the range will reduce somewhat with the 2.4 gigahertz noise floor. Got it. But in most circumstances, on, on a film set, you, you'll be able to from any almost anywhere in a normal building, you, mm -hmm. you'll be able to control the microphones. Mm -hmm. uh, fantastic and. Um, Roughly uh, per channel uh, price. Can we talk price? Yes, um, these uh, units are uh, twenty four ninety five mm -hmm. uh, per 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 for the transmitter. Uh, the 
our, our receiver is uh, mm -hmm. seventeen ninety five. Mm -hmm. uh, then if you already have your own receiver office, you don't have to buy that. Right. Um, this unit, uh, the the Aqua Mike, this is one that is totally submersible. So you can see it's it's totally sealed. It, the, the case is sealed with O-rings. There's uh, waterproof connectors on it. Mm -hmm. um, it it be, and it's just a, a more expensive construction, and the waterproof connectors are quite expensive. Yes. Uh, so the there's two versions of it. The regular is twenty seven ninety five, um, and the long life version is twenty nine ninety five. The long life version will run for sixteen hours. Wow. For very at, at fifty yeah. milliwatts. Uh, okay. So so yeah. we're, do, we're actually doing that for reality TV because in that circumstance with this they can jump in and out of a pool. People love the fact that there's no controls on it. The talent can't mess with it. If, mm -hmm. you, if you've got sort of non-professional talent uh, on, a, on a reality TV set right, right. and so that they can't accidentally do something wrong to screw up the transmitter. Mm -hmm. But as well, with two transmitters, they can go 24 hours a day, just yeah. cycling twice per day. Yeah. yeah. So we're doing a lot of reality TV with this. In interesting. Uh, terrific. Anything else you want to talk about that we didn't um, I think I'd like to just show this quickly. This is yeah. actually, so this is a, <laughs> it's branded for the NHL. This is what we use for the NHL ref mic. Uh, we do a non-branded version of it as well. Mm -hmm. But you can see it actually has a, a very robust rocker switch on the end. So in terms of um, being able to use this in a situation where you need a mute switch, uh, this mute switch uh, is very, very, very easy to use. You put it on a belt. You don't have to look at it. You can just put your finger on it and feel. And it it uh, is is a very very good mutable microphone. Um, so it's and it's got belt clip. Again, this will run for ten hours at fifty milliwatts. Got it. And uh, is again very very tough, very robust. Awesome. Um, I guess the, the, the other one oh. is, I guess, one, one final product. Yeah. This is our incognito, and you can see it actually is in two pieces. So we call it, uh, jokingly, we call it our, our wig and bra mic. Uh, so it's designed actually to go in a wig, or women can wear it in a bra. And the idea here is that you have the radio in this module, so you can see it's very small, very thin. Mm. Uh, it hides under, under garments, and it can't be seen. The battery is separate, and we actually sell this with three different sizes of batteries. So, and again, a simple connector just to um, separate, put a new battery on it, and you can then uh, be able to uh, have uh, one transmitter and just change the battery to, uh, to go 24 hours a day. That's great. Wow. All right. Any um, any questions? Uh, oh, we got one coming up. No questions. No questions. All right. Um, all right. Well, uh, Paul, these are uh, these are shipping now. Yes. Um, all available now. Um, and yeah, uh, thank you. Thank you for coming. Thank you for watching. Um, we'll be at NAB next week, April eighth to the eleventh. Um, Gotham Sound Expo, Saturday, May the 4th. Um, it is really uh, quite an amazing event where uh, manufacturers who could not make it to NAB, um, or sorry, if you couldn't make it to NAB, manufacturers will come to Gotham and you can come to Gotham. And um, yeah, uh, it, it is a great place to interact. Uh, visit, uh, visit the video archives at gothamsound.tv and follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Please send ideas for videos to info at gothamsound.com. We really appreciate getting those. Thank you for watching, and uh, have a great day.